Warning, I'm going to talk about a very heavy topic within the horror game. Viewer discretion is advised. Outlast 2 has got to be one of the weakest entries within the Outlast franchise, but I'll try my best to sum up as best as I can. So without further ado, let's get into it. You're a character named Blake alongside with your wife named Lynn. Both of you are reporting over a missing persons case, but little did you realize that you will get caught up in the crossfire between the two occultists named the Heretics and Papadas followers that has been witnessed towards lots of shockwave and imagery that has made them go feral and try to kill each other. Unfortunately, your wife has been captured by the Heretics and you retrieved her back but to much surprised you saw her get pregnant during that time and so with the massacre between two occultists which led both of them to be dead and your wife being dead also and the game ends by having one last shockwave that tore a hole of reality that combust now to be fair i'm gonna have a very controversial take I think the dream sequence and the scolded sequence in Outlast 2 is really irrelevant to the story. I'm sorry, but with knowing how the plot is and how very confusing it is to relate back to Blake's trauma while also trying to go rescue his wife. I mean, there is like correlation between like the three of them and that they were like childhood friends at like a, a church school. With these subplots in mind, it makes it more difficult to understand the lore in Outlast 2, given that the fact that it doesn't have any type of exp explanation of why Blake or any other people who are affected by the shockwaves are seeing these illusions and make it more of a danger to themselves. Like, there is very little text that explains why we're seeing these illusions, but having the subplots being caught in within the storyline makes it really confusing to keep up. Never have we seen any Outlast entries that really dabbles in into character development within the protagonist. So it was a little bit weird when the Outlast 2 game was trying to purvey or give like background information towards our characters. Which at the end, it, it doesn't even matter given that the fact that they all died at the end makes him more of a slap in the face given that the fact that if you read the Outlast comics, the reason why there was a huge shockwave was because one of the Murkoff towers got taken down by like the wall rider that transformed into ants that bit off the like structure of it in which the whole team within Murkoff were trying to clean up the mess and our protagonist survived the blast but got taken away because he got experimented on. So literally it makes it no difference as to why we ever cared about this guy in the first place. The reason why I made this video was because of an unused cutscene that Outlast has scrapped that showed fight between Val and Marta when they were at the mines trying to capture Blake and Lynn, in which they had a one last standoff right before they both plummet to their death inside the mine. Or that's what it looks like within the unused cutscenes that I saw. And to be honest, that looked way more better compared to Val just, bit, just disappearing in the mines. And for some reason, Marta just getting spiked down by a cross. Out of nowhere, mind you. What I hope for the new entries of Outlast is the storyline between the two agents that I mentioned before and how it was left on a cliffhanger that one of the agent's daughters has been missing and showed a very threat towards the operation between Markov and the life of that agent's daughter. But yeah, that's really about it. I could go a lot more into detail about why I have a nitpick with Outlast 2, but again, the video will be way longer than it should be. So just leave a comment or something to let me know if you are interested into 
more long form uh, content that I niche for. But anyways, that's a that's the end of the video. So if you enjoyed it, leave a like and let me know if you're interested into more video essays of like certain topics that I would like to cover over on this channel. But as always, I hope you guys love the video and I'll see you later. Goodbye.